The nursing home staff may say that, well, they're just having a bad day, but it could be hyperglycemic hyperosmolar syndrome, which is a diabetic emergency that kills 20% of patients if it's not treated immediately. I'm David Terry, and today I'm explaining the diabetic crisis that nursing homes often miss until it's too late. So what is hyperglycemic hyperosmolar syndrome, also known as HHS? HHS is more common in elderly type 2 diabetics, which is a common nursing home population. HHS happens when the blood sugar becomes extremely high, like over 600 milligrams per deciliter, and it's combined with severe dehydration. But unlike diabetic ketoacidosis, it develops slowly or over days and weeks, making it easier for the nursing homes to miss those warning signs. What are the warning signs for HHS? Number one, extreme drowsiness. If your loved one is sleeping much more than usual or seems almost impossible to fully wake up, this isn't normal fatigue. It's a medical emergency and it needs emergent attention. Number two, severe confusion. This is confusion that's worse than their baseline, much worse than their baseline, even if they have dementia. Number three, signs of dehydration dry mouth, sunken eyes, skin that tense when it's pinched or decreased urination are all potential signs of HHS. Neurological changes, number four, slurred speech, vision problems, weakness on one side. HHS can mimic a stroke. So how can nursing home negligence cause HHS? Diabetic residents need careful hydration monitoring and when nursing homes don't ensure adequate fluid intake, Blood sugar concentrates and it can become dangerously high. Failing to monitor blood glucose regularly in diabetic residents and it develops over days so regular monitoring would catch a rising blood sugar early. In my experience, this is the most common problem that I've seen. Medication errors, wrong diabetes medication dosages, missed medications, or just the failure to adjust medications when residents are ill or eating poorly. Dismissing increased sleepiness, confusion, or behavior changes at just normal aging instead of investigating for medical causes. So nursing homes must monitor diabetic residents for complications and recognize emergency symptoms. And when they fail to identify and treat HHS promptly and death or brain damage results, that's potential medical negligence. So why is this so dangerous? Because HHS causes brain swelling and it can lead to coma, permanent brain damage, or even death. So if your diabetic loved one shows extreme drowsiness, severe confusions, uh, signs of dehydration, don't wait for the nursing staff to figure it out. Demand immediate medical evaluation and blood sugar testing. Remember, HHS requires emergency room treatment, not monitoring at the nursing home. Trust your instincts.